In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we'd like to show you how you can create what I call a visual echo effect. This is where you have a shot where you have a person moving in the scene and you see a reflection of where they were a fraction of a second ago. I saw this on the commercial and I said, how do they do that? And I figured it out. We're going to give you two examples. The first one will be a bit of a glitch effect added to it. The second one will be smooth. So watch these and then we'll show you how to create this effect yourself. First thing I've done is I've taken my normal video, placed it on track number one. It's simply a shot of this guy delivering a package. So what I want to do is give him a visual echo. To do that, I take that same video and drag it down to track number two. Next thing, I need to double click on it to get into my PIP designer because I'm going to add an opacity value. Uh, down from 100 to so somewhere in near 40 will work pretty good. And you notice now there is this echo here. If I play this, go back to the beginning, we're going to see that we have this echo of him putting this package down and bring it up. Now, I don't like an echo that big. To change the size of it, the distance between it, all we need to do is modify what we have in terms of where we place this on the timeline. Right now, if I click over here and press the home key and then page down, that will show me in my time code, I am 24 frames apart. I don't want it that close. Let's try something else. I have a timeline marker set here. So let's move it over to this timeline marker at eight seconds and you notice it's closer yet. If I take it and move it a little bit to the left, you notice he catches up with himself here. And this one is a little better, I would think, but still not what I want. I actually found that what works better is three or four seconds. So I have a three second timeline marker I set. I'll move this back and it will snap to the timeline marker. And then when we start the, the, to play this, we're going to see that it's just a slight echo and there we go. Now, if I want it a little darker, all I need to do is take the opacity value and modify it. I can do it by using the mouse. Let me move it up just a little bit. And now you see it a little stronger in the frame. Now, again, when you shoot this, you want to make sure that the only thing that moves is a person. Otherwise, everything in the shot will have an echo. Now, if I want to turn the echo off when he touches the doorbell, right about Oh, that's pretty good. Right about there. All I need to do is take the second clip, do control T to split it at that point, then delete it. And then when we play the clip, let's move back just a little bit here. We'll have the echo until he touches the button and then it's gone. Now, what if you want to add that glitch effect we saw earlier, how do we do that? Well, what we have to do is modify the opacity value. I'm going to hold the control key down and press the mouse on the timeline and that should set a, an opacity keyframe. And then what I want to do is set these in pairs because we're going to go down briefly and then come up. So there's one pair, another pair will be here. Let's do another pair over here. And let's see what that looks like. Then I just hold no key, drag down on the inside keyframe. We're lowering the opacity to zero, basically turning the effect off. And we'll do this again here. And you could also do the same thing by splitting the clip, but I find this is faster than just putting it in chunks and putting it on and off again. All right, let's try it this way. And then now we're play, we're going to have that with a glitch added. 
it's on and off, on and off. We see it flashing on and off a little bit until he touches the button and then we have the solid shot. So that's one way to create this visual echo on the screen in CyberLink PowerDirector.